Hey, my name is Matt Storr and I repair saxophones for a living. And today I've got a tip that may or may not be useful for people, but I've actually used this a few times. It's been really helpful. So I've got like a beautiful, all original Mark VI Alto in the 56,000 serial number range, except someone has taken like a red marker or something to it. Now I've gotten some of it gone already, um, but you can see there. And there's some on the keys as well. Um, somewhere a toddler has been put up for adoption um <laughs> but so this act this stuff is actually coming off really well just with naphtha and a q-tip but it takes like a ton of rubbing like five minutes per bit except something you can do to make this kind of thing go faster and like i use this sometimes like i'll put polishing compound on this to like get like into corners and stuff so you take your q-tip has to be high quality like this you know wooden handle pretty decent um, you know, tightly wound cotton on it. Otherwise, this is going to be completely useless. You know, break it off fairly close to the bottom. Actually stick it in your Dremel. Your Dremel collet. And then, in this case, I'll be using naphtha. And let's find one of those marks that's like really easy to see. Okay, how about this guy right here? Now I'm gonna have to change to another q-tip but as you can see that is pretty much gone i'll probably go back over just a little bit i feel like i see either that's the shadow of it or there's a little bit left but anyhow i'll be doing this for the rest of the day on this horn but i uh, figured you might want to see uh, a little tip that can make your life a little bit easier hope you found that helpful useful and informative my name is matt store i repair saxophones for a living thanks for watching